Setting up the system is really easy and takes less than 10 minutes. The laptop is equipped with Toby Studio software, which is a complete usability test suite. It supports the entire research process. It records not only eye tracking data, but also the screen, the participant's voice, facial expressions, mouse clicks, keystrokes, and more. Setup is now complete. Our first respondent takes her place in front of the Toby T60 eye tracker. After a quick calibration of the eye tracker, the participant is given the first task. Compare two digital cameras of your choice. The participant is left alone to complete the task without being interrupted by questions or losing focus while trying to express her thoughts. The test leader can look at the gaze in real time, making observations as the test goes on. If you have a viewing room, you can invite other stakeholders to observe. Looking at the participant's gaze in real time will captivate them and immerse them in the user experience. Once the tasks are done, it's time for a retrospective think aloud interview, or RTA. Toby Studio will replay the participant's gaze while recording the interview. The gaze replay works as a memory cue, helping the participant to remember what she was thinking while solving the task. In qualitative usability testing using eye tracking, the number of participants usually varies from 5 to 15. We are using 8 participants in this study. In most cases, this is enough to find all important usability problems. The last participant has left, and it's time to analyze the recordings. In Toby Studio, we find tools to replay, structure, analyze, and visualize the recordings. We start by adding observations such as confused or having a problem to our recordings. We then have instant access to replays and visualizations of critical parts of the user experience. Heat maps and gaze plots show how the participants navigate the website and where they turn their attention. In this case, the gaze plot describes the behavior of a typical user and indicates where the participants would have liked to see a link that allows comparisons. This is also confirmed by the retrospective Think Aloud interviews. Our suggestion is to put a button that says Compare Cameras here on the Camera Overview page. We export animated gaze plot and heat map sequences that show some typical behavior. These are ideal for presenting typical behavior visually and backing up the conclusions in the report. Creating your report with conclusions supported by eye tracking is easy. Just copy and paste it into a PowerPoint presentation. You will end up with an objective, reliable, easy to grasp and convincing report. You're done. The report can now speak for itself. The participant is given the task, sign up for online banking. Since eye tracking is a nonverbal and passive measurement, the participant is left alone to complete the task without being interrupted by questions or losing focus while trying to express her thoughts. Once the task is done, questions are presented through the built-in questionnaire function. This will enable us to compare gaze and navigation patterns of the participants who found the task easy with those who found it hard. In quantitative usability studies using eye tracking, the sample size usually varies between 25 to 50 participants in each subgroup. We are using 100 participants in this study since we will create two subgroups later, participants who found the task harder and those who found it easier. We're done testing. Let's first look at the data visually. Heat maps and gaze plots show how the participants navigate the website and where they turn their attention. Comparing participants who found the interface easy, shown on the left, with the ones who found it hard on the right, we see clear differences in the navigation patterns. We can structure the data by creating areas of interest around key elements. Now we can drill down into our data based on combinations of demographic details, questionnaire answers, and important web page elements. In the statistics view of Toby Studio, we see that most of the participants who found the task hard are looking at all the online banking links, but not clicking them. The time from fixation to click on all of these links are long, which indicates that they have seen the links, but are not sure if they have found the right place to click. They are probably looking for a link that says, sign up now, more specifically. The vast majority of the participants who found the task easy use the 
Find Out More link next to the image of the laptop. The conclusion? Add a link that says Sign Up Now, here and here, and consider removing the online banking quick links. To carry out an in-depth statistical analysis, you can easily export your eye tracking data to SPSS or Excel. Eye tracking visualizations such as gaze plots, heat maps, and gaze opacity maps are ideal for communicating the findings and backing up the conclusions in the report. We have ended up with a report that is objective, reliable, and valid, as well as convincing and easy to grasp. In this clip of our iPhone eye tracking, we'd like to show you a user playing Dirt Moto. By taking live recordings of users' hands and their mobile devices as input for a T60XL eye tracker from Toby Technology, we are able to track the user's eye gazes while they are operating an iPhone, for example. To get a brief explanation of how it works, please watch one of our previous videos. As you can see on the basis of the blue gaze data here, most of the user's fixations are on the pilot's back. So, if you were an advertiser, it would make sense to place your message here rather than anywhere else in the game.